Hi everybody, it's Barbie from Nellie and Ruth Designs, and today we're going to finish up um, what I started in my last video. So hopefully it won't be won't take too long, but um, I hope you're enjoying the Lazy Daisy Sewing Journal series that I'm doing. Um, I'm loving all of the papers that have come from my porch prints, and I just I can't say enough about their um, design work. So again, thanks for joining in. Thanks for doing a drive-by and seeing what I have to offer for subscribing and um, just chatting in the comments. So let's get started. Um, so I did this, I did the envelopes the last time and I wanted to finish the back sides up and then do maybe a couple tags. I talked about finding a tag for um, this envelope here. And I did find, I like this daisy, um, this little daisy tag. So I think we'll work on that. And then we'll finish the back side of this envelope. Um, and I picked out a couple of my sewing magazines that I had featured in another video. Um, I think I'm going to use this one though today. So I'll set this one over here and um, let's set that aside for now. Let's finish up this little, this little tag here. Um, it fits fairly well in here. I may have to trim it just a little bit, but I, I don't think I'll have to. Um, I ended up putting the a daisy a day label there, which kind of um, restricted the size I could use, but I, I think that goes in fairly well. And I'm just debating whether I should add a little bit of um, a little tag to it or not. I, I don't know. I'm, I may not. I may just leave it. Maybe I'll add it to this side. Just do a quick little stitch and maybe add a little charm to it. Um, it would kind of complete it. So I think I will, I think I'll add a quick little stitch to this now. Um, and then we can be, that, that can be done. So I'm just going to pop over to my machine here. I'm going to stitch it on the back side like this um, instead of the front side because I don't want to take any of that daisy up. Just have to find my foot pedal. That's done there. And I don't really care about um, having it be perfect through here. I just would like to pull that one little thread through, but maybe I can just clip it. Because it is a it is a junk journal. So I'm really not too worried about little extra threads and doohickeys. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I think I will take a little bit more off of the side here just because um, it is a little tight fit. And I don't want her to have to struggle. with it getting it in and out. And seeing that I took most of the white off on that side, I better trim it on this side as well. <clears throat> okay. 
All right. All right, that's a little bit better. Okay, all right, so that's cute. I'm still, the jury is still out. I don't know if I want to use a, um, the magnetic clasp here or not. So we'll, we'll have to come back to that. I just, I just haven't decided. And then on this envelope here, um, I think I'm going to put, this is where I'm, this magazine is going to come into play. Um, I think I'm going to add this on each side. I'm going to take a little bit off. I'll do a little, I'll do a little collage work. I'd like to have that. The shearing and ruffling um, show through here and I'm going to trim it according to I'd like to have that up here like that It's very hard for me to see with this lighting here. I'm just going to come up a little bit. Um, oh, and that's pretty good. I'm going to take a little bit off the side because I don't want that daisy to be totally covered up. And I'm moving this down to this line here because I'm not sure if I have it um, really even on the bottom. I know the top is because that's the page. So I thought I'd just add a little bit of sewing verbiage to this envelope. Right here. And we're going to use I'd have to try to remember to work from the center um, of my table. We're so used to doing I'm sure a lot of crafters you're you bring it you know towards you. And you're right on top of it but when you do that I feel like I have a sneeze in me too so if I sneeze you're gonna have to excuse me you're gonna have to pardon me because I'll try to be quiet but I have a really loud sneeze Um, and I wanted to get a little bit of this, this ruffling here in the photo, or in the photo, in the um, bottom corner here. Um, so, and don't throw these scraps away. Um, because they'll come in handy down the road. And um, I'm going to I'm going to tear this right here, but I'm going to try to even it off, but I didn't want to I wanted to have that ripped there for maybe a next project. But I'm going to need to um, cut this because I want it in that corner. So I'll take a little bit off the bottom 
and then I have to take a little bit off the side here. All right. And I can put that down in that corner. I was supposed to go to my friend's house today. She dug up a bunch of, um, of um, oh gosh, Lily of the Valley out of her garden. And I'm looking for different ground covers. Um, and I know that spreads really well. Maybe I can take a ride over when I, she's about 20 minutes away from me. Um, when you live in the mountains of the Adirondacks, you know, we don't live because we live on the side of a mountain. We don't live in a, you know, per se neighborhood. A lot of my friends, I only have my one friend, um, that lives in, the, in a neighborhood, and I wouldn't even consider it a neighborhood. She lives on one of the back streets of town, and um, she's at a dead end. So it's not really a neighborhood. So it takes a while to get to any of my friends' homes. You know, half an hour, 20 minutes away. They're, we're way, way in the mountains, all of us. Um, but I think I'll have time to go over there and get that. Um, all right, then that's just stitching. I'm trying to use some things that I already have um, cut out. And I do I don't want to cover too much of this up um, maybe this is where because it's an envelope maybe I could cut this is where I could use one of the smaller stamps up on the right hand side um, stamps are over here so I think maybe I would do that this is this is a pretty stamp that would add some color I think I'll just add a stamp and treat it like an envelope I have to find myself a little um, Stamp stamp, a stamp uh, cutters, a stamp, uh, not a stamp, but a, oh, yeah, I like that, a little punch, a stamp punch, thank you. Whoever was yelling punch, punch, punch in the background, thank you. Um, and I don't know. I thought I had a canceled stamp. I'm not going to look for that now, but if I have a canceled stamp, you know, a rubber stamp, let's not get our so many stamps. Let's not get them let's get confused. Um, I can do a little cancel rubber stamp over this. There, there's that, and I'd still like to put a little something. Um, maybe another little spool of thread. This is kind of large, though. It kind of, um, I don't want it to be overbearing with that stamp. It's a little bit bigger. If it was a little bit smaller, I would use it. Um, you see anything on here? Let's see. I don't want to 
do that. I feel like I need to put, I need to put a little, a little saying on here. And maybe what I will do is um, either use some, I'll continue with the, to make it stand out. I have sorry silk on the front and that. Maybe I will continue. Let's see what I have in here. I haven't op even opened this little bag up yet. I'll back this with some material. I love this. Whenever um, I buy my cloth from a gal on April and Jules um, on Instagram, and she, they have a wonderful Etsy shop. I try to buy whatever I can from them. That would be pretty. Let's work with this. Um, yeah, and Julie is just wonderful. I really like all the fabrics that they have to offer. And I'll put their, I've mentioned them before many times, um, but I'll put them in my in the description again because they really do have beautiful pieces. I just have to decide how wide I want this or if I want it to come off of the side. Maybe I could have it come off of the side. So if I fold this like this, I'm just, this is just for, to see how it will look. To get an idea. So if it's a single, maybe I could just do it as a, or I could just do a strip. A strip would be pretty too. Um, but then again, I wouldn't want, if I used a strip, I'd want to stitch it on the machine. And I can't do that, right? I, you know, I missed my opportunity to do that because I glued it. And that's another reason why you're probably wondering why I haven't sewn the signatures in the book and I'm not working on each page. I don't do that. Because if there's something I want to stitch on a page, it doesn't afford me the luxury to do that. So I try to get as much of my pages done other than, um, you know, just, just putting ephemera in and gluing it down. Because, you know, this I did and I stitched. I didn't want the stitching to come through, so I stitched this singly in here when I did it and then I I taped it down glued it down so that's why this is how this is why I work the way I do um, because I never know when I'm going to want to stitch something so I think what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to because I like the way that shear is there Um, but again, I think what I'll do is I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut one of these and I think I'm going to, um, stitch this on there. So I'm going to cut this straight across. And then I'm going to cut this down. But first I'm going to stitch this on. Um, and then I can cut it because if I, if I cut it first, it's going to be a small piece on the sewing machine. And I don't want it to get caught down in the bobbin. And maybe I'll even do it. 
on this end here and then I'll I can save this side um, so let me let me do that find something to do um, and I'm just going to bring my sewing machine forward here and I'm going to stitch this really quick so go get a cup of well a cup of coffee would take too long but go get a little snack or a handful of something and then you know what else I'm going to do because this um I don't want this to slip and slide I'm just going to run a little piece of tape down the center and then that way I can adhere it and it won't be slipping and sliding everywhere. And again, the tape won't, I'll be able to get, I have to move this up because I want to catch that top part. And then I can trim it after. I'll trim that off a little bit. I'll trim it now to make it even. because I want to catch that top part in in the uh, when I stitch across and I should be able to. So, all right, I'm going to stitch this really quick. One side is done. We'll get the other here. And we'll be good to go. There. Okay. So that is stitched. You can see that there. And then I'm just going to trim. I'll trim this back here to right here. I kind of want to keep these threads a little bit longer, so I don't want to get them in the mix of my cutting or clipping. And then I can just trim them a little bit. There, so now we have just a nice little, almost like a little sampling, a fabric sampling. And we're going to put that we're going to put that right there. Actually. And then she can just lift up if she wants to read um, read it. Just going to trim in here because I'm not real keen on the straight, um, the straightness of this. I want it to be a little free flowing ah. and the same on this side here and I think I'm even going to cut this bottom Let's see. Yeah, I don't like this hanging. I don't like this one here. So I'm just going to trim this little tiny, leaving this 
here like this. It's funny what your eye sees, what it likes and what it doesn't like. I like a little bit more free, free form. Okay. And I think that'll be, I think that'll be cute here. Just like that. Okay. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to glue this down. And I think it should be fine if I go, if I put a nice big few rows of the, um, art glitter because it will probably go through that um, fine mesh and go right on to the right onto the paper so we'll let that set that's cute I think that's cute just a little something just to add to the back um, of that and the front I'm still not I'm still not crazy about the front um, maybe when I get my my little you know what there it might look a little bit better but I still feel like this side is missing something um, it might just need a little bit more of this lace to come around So let me and I really don't want to get stuck spend too much time on this I feel like I've already spent you know with you um, quite a bit of time on this one section and I want to get to something different but I can't I can't move on. Um, until one thing is com is complete. Uh, let's see. And I'm gonna leave that with that. All right, and yeah, I think if we just add that little bit on that side, um, it'll be good. It'll balance it out. Yeah. I guess that's, you know, goes with anything if you're, the only thing with dentistry is, you know, what you do to one side, you should do to the other. And if I have to get a filling on my right side, I certainly I'm not willing to get it on my left side as well. But, you know, with working out, they say that, um, you know, whatever you do on the left, you better do on the right to balance yourself out. So... Okay. All right, I'm gonna get a little piece of paper out of my scrap bin here. On my wastebasket, actually. We're going to get this pressed down. 
and then we'll let that dry and I think that will be I think that will be good. All right. Okay, good. So yeah, I think that balanced it out um, quite nicely. And the back is done, so I think we can, I'll just work on that closure and I'll finish that closure. So our two envelopes are, are done. I think they're very sweet. So we'll set those aside and um, let's see, let us um, work on this little tag here. And again, I'd like to do a little bit of maybe some lace on it. And this I could actually, I don't want to cover it up too much because I do, um, I do like the pattern. So I'm thinking of maybe just, I'd like to use one of these trans, the, the typewriter paper flowers. I think that would be really pretty on this here. Um, but then again, maybe, maybe something else in the, daisy end of it. Um, that's the other trouble that I have when I have a, you know, this is, this is very pretty. It's pretty simple. I don't necessarily always want to cover it up. Um, I know these go as one, but I'm going to cut them. I'm going to cut this down. And I like that on there. Um, I like that on there a lot. And let's, maybe we can add, I might have a little, um, I have to keep that in camera. I don't know if that's too green. Some different shapes here. I know I have some of these in black, but I haven't, run them off yet. We have a burgundy that may may go blend a little bit better. And we have a tiny little one. And I'm thinking I would like to get, um, maybe a little tiny, a little tiny daisy I could cut out and put in the middle of there. I do like, um, That would be really pretty. But then I'd have to, I'd want to fussy cut it with my X-Acto knife and I don't want to, 
I don't want to tie you up doing that. Um, the other thing I'm thinking of doing, which I think might be kind of fun, is I'm going to try this. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to frame this. And I probably will probably just get done with this one little tag or maybe two because this may take a little bit longer. Cut this out here. So we have a little frame. And I can take one of these stamp images and um, use that. that so I'm going to want to cut this here and here right there and right there there and there so let's see if we can make this happen. I think it was right. Right about there. Nope. I just have to cut trim that just a little bit I just have to trim all of these just a tad and I think we're good to go to glue that down um, Here it is. Like I said, that's why I like um, having the digitals. So I haven't really lost this little stamp here. I can run another sheet, but it gives you the opportunity to do things with your little items that, you know, if you have, it was just an original you wouldn't be able to do that because, you know, you may not want to cut it. There. So we're going to set this over here. See, isn't that cute? So you can always use your X-Acto knife to make little frames if you see something else. Um... Maybe I'll keep that for that one. And um, maybe I'll use a little I'm going to use a little bit on here of the paper that I tore away from the other I'm 
and that fits on there quite nicely. I didn't have to do any extra trim work or anything. And I think I'm going to um, trim the ends of this as well. Instead of keeping it just a square, I'm going to bring these in a bit. to give it a little, little more pizzazz. this little daisies this little daisies one out here and I think I'm going to get my exacto knife um because I don't want to crinkle the sides of this Add that to it. That should be very cute. And then we're going to finish this tag. And then I think we're going to, we're going to call it a day. Um, this is just a nice little little idea um, and maybe we can even get this in a page because I'm going to have to um, plop this I'm gonna to have to glue this down um, I'm gonna put that We'll put that like that, but I would like to put a, um, I'd like to put more of a real pretty fussy cut flower. Hold on, I'm going to grab my folder. And see what we have here. Um, I just like to have a flower coming up out. And again, even though it's a, a daisy journal, it doesn't all have to be um, daisies. The majority is daisies, but if you want to add, that's kind of cute, some um, different textures or colors. Um, this is a good way to do it. Well, that might be kind of fun. All right, let's take a look at those. I think these here, these are going to, these are all my mom's. Someday I'm going to do a video showing all of my mom's fussy cutting she was fussy cutting back in the 70s. I don't even know if it was a thing back then, but she was doing it for, for all her decoupaged eggs. These are all quite large. These are my, these are my big ones um, that I have for full size um, scrapbooking pages in my, my mom's scrapbook. She was a huge gardener, so those are definitely too big. But these... 
These would be cute. Um, I do like this one. And then maybe I could get an old button and sew a button on there. Or I could do a little bit of embroidery. You have this one where it could go like that. That's pretty as well. And it matches both. Both of these match that number three. This one, I don't think so. And I don't think the, I think that's too much. So those are going to be set. So now we have it down to this one here. I guess we're just going to see how it looks in the or this one here and we could move this one down a little bit I think I'm gonna go with this one I think this is I think this is pretty I think that would be pretty just like that so that's what we're gonna do and then we'll put this in one of the pages um, and then we'll be all set. You can be on with your day. I can be on with mine. And I'm not going to jazz this up. I want the white um, to show around this flower to make it pop. Overlap just a little bit. And maybe we will put a little bit of, we could put a tab at the top of this. Um, I do have some. I do have some other sorry colors. I have a pretty blue, but I don't think the blue, I don't like the blue. I have some Italian lace as well. I'll show that to you. Or Italian ribbon. This is my Italian ribbon. And I also get this from um, my gypsy girl there, Lois. And again, I'll put her um, we don't need the blue. The purple is pretty. This is pretty as well. This is Italian ribbon. I don't want that blue. This is pretty. That might be really pretty with it. We don't need the pink. I think the purple will be too much. And this is two variegated. I think this would be lovely. Um, so we can feed some of this through. We can feed some of this through. And that'll be good. Then I can clean my desk. All right. Let me get this snipped here. And we're going to, I'm going to offset that a little bit. I'm going to punch a little hole. Um, there it is here. We'll offset that. We'll get this threaded through. We'll pick a page in the book. 
and we'll be all set. All right, so let's get let's get one of the signatures. Um, let's decide which. Ah, it's a mess. Let's decide what signature we might want to put this in. Might be pretty across from that. But I might want to decorate that page. I think I would want to do it on a page that um, I really wouldn't do much with. Or that has already been stitched. That would be pretty. I wouldn't be stitching anything on this here because this is a nice piece of heavier cardstock. I may just put on some washi tape or something. Um, at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, paper clip this to this page and then I want to think about this and see what we can do along the edging. Maybe put some lace on there um, and we can continue because I do like this on this page very much. Um, but I know I'm going to want to jazz this up a little bit more. So we're going to paper clip this here. And I'm going to put that back in here. And I'm going to make a note that this will be coming up. I need to work on this. And then we can finish, we can finish this right here. So there you have it. So we did a small pocket with a tag. And then we finished, um, we finished the tag here on this cute little envelope and then we finished we finished this envelope so i hope you learned something new today um, i know i had a really nice time crafting with you all and i hope you come back to finish the series and uh it's just it's been a very nice pleasant journey working on this this journal and i hope you're enjoying it as much as i am all right everybody have a great day Bye bye